Hey everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna's Dream Life. Today we are going to be crafting. We're going to make a dice box. So let me show you what we need. You are going to need some paint, whatever color you choose. Some scissors. Couple of pieces of felt. E6000 glue or wood glue, super glue also works. A marker that will show up through your paint. A paintbrush, a smaller paintbrush, and then something to hold your paint in. Okay, let's get started. I guess you need the most ex most important part. You're gonna need a box. I got this at Michael's. For, I think it was like $3.99, $4.99, something like that. You can find them at any local craft store, possibly even a Walmart. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pour some paint and then you're just gonna paint your box. So how many of my viewers play Dungeons and Dragons? I used to play when I was younger quite a bit and then I kind of got out of it. You know, you grow up, you quit playing. And then recently me and my husband have started playing with a group of friends. For those of you that play D&D, what is your favorite character to play? For me, I've always played either a witch or a sorceress or something like that. Always a spellcaster. But after watching Critical Role, I really want to be a gnome bard. Really, really, really bad. So, I'm going to make that happen. Okay, so while we let that dry, we are going to take our pieces of felt. You can also find these at any um, craft store, Walmart, Dollar Tree, a if you get them at a craft store, the individual sheets are about 33 cents a piece. You can also buy these for a little bit more with the um, sticky backing to where you don't have to actually glue it down. So what I have done, I have already pre-cut one. Um, I just laid this down and then I took my box and placed it over top and then I traced around my box and then just cut it out. So... I have a piece of felt already. So what you do is you take your glue and then making sure that you get a good layer all over inside your box. And it doesn't have to be perfect because when you press the felt down, the glue is going to kind of spread everywhere and spread out. And I'm using E6000. You can use just about any kind of glue, super glue. Elmer's glue would probably even work. Okay, so when you've got you a good layer on, just stick your lid back on there, and then take your felt, and then place, I think something fell, 
place your felt inside your box and then just press down to spread that glue around. And this is what the inside will look like. All right, now for the fun part. Actually, do I want to go ahead and do this on the top as well? I think, I think I do. All right, so I have decided to go ahead and actually put some felt at the top as well. So I'm just going to cut this out really quickly. So you can just take you a pen or marker. And then take your scissors and then just cut it out. So, same as the bottom, I'm just going to take your glue and just spread it around. I like to get as close to the edge as I can just to make sure that the corners are good and secure. I um I made my husband one of these the other day and I will show you guys insert a picture or something of that one and I was like I want one too so this one is mine okay so just taking Twist your glue, and then stick your lid back on there. So again, you're just going to spread that glue underneath the felt, and you're just pushing down. close as you can and there you go there's the inside of the box so now that that's done I'm going to close the box and I have written out some runes that I want to draw along the side of my box. So I'm going to do a quick recap. Um, paint your box whatever color you want. Take and trace the felt and then glue one or both sides. And then I just took a silver marker and I wrote in runic what I wanted to write on the outside. And now for the final part, I'm going to decorate the top. And I have these stickers that are moon stickers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start placing them on the box. 
and see which direction, how I want them set up before I actually peel the backs off of them. I believe I have it set up the way I like. And so the very next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one up at a time. And I'm going to peel the backing off of it. And then just stick it down. I would definitely, if you're going to use stickers on this, make sure that you position them the way that you want before you peel the backs because stickers are not going to come up off of this, at least not very easily. Okay, everybody, my camera kept dying on me. I would definitely, if you're going to use stickers on this, make sure that you position them the way that you want before you peel the backs. Because stickers are not going to come up off of this. At least not very easily. All right, and the last sticker... this on here real quick okay and the finished product as of right now I may add something to the middle I'm not sure later on but we have the phases of the moon. We have my script on both sides. And this is what the inside looks like. And it's that simple. If you guys try to make one, make sure to post a picture of it in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.